Hey there, I am Parth Doshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my lessons with you by making videos. So in this video, we are going to use UI path forms. So let me give you a quick overview of what we are going to do in this video. So in this video, we'll create a simple registration form using UI path form in which we'll be having three fields, name, phone number and email ID. So we'll be having these three fields and we'll be having three buttons. So the first button will be on click of that button will submit the form. So the data which we have input will get submitted and the form won't close, but the data will get returned to an Excel file. The second button will we have that will be reset button. So on click of reset, the fields in the form will get reset. So we have we will have a new blank form with us and click of close button the form form will get closed so there are process will end so let's get started with it now to create a form in ui path you need to install a package ui path dot form activities which you can go to manage packages and install now let's drag the create form option activity okay so we have this over here let me Give this a name. Registration form. Okay. Now, no need of this. Also, let's open the form designer. So, this is our form designer. First, we have the text field which we are going to name it as name and as i always tell we need to copy this field key and keep it in a notepad file so that we can use it later outside the form in advanced we have one email okay so now the field key of email let's copy the field key paste it over here and then we have a phone number again the field key of phone number copy paste it in a notepad file now we need three buttons so we have this one we are going to copy okay so let me change the setting of this field key we need copy the field key now the one thing which i said at the beginning while explaining the overview so we have to copy this particular so we don't want this form to be closed when we click on that button so we need to keep it as key close on submit and we'll keep it as false so we don't want the form to get closed so this is the thing which we need to do if we don't want the form to get closed now we need one more button Okay, so what it let me do is drag a layout. Then we we'll have columns, add column, and keep this three. So submit. Now the other button we want. is reset so if we reset copy paste to it. now again we don't want the form to get closed but we'll reset the form so let us copy this paste it over here and give the value as false save now what we want is we want one more button which will be our close button filter close paste it over here now close on submit here we will keep this as 
true since we want the form to get closed now these are the okay let me just remove this drag a button submit close and submit and false so let's save this save we can change the things We have this dark thing. Okay, this looks good. Let's keep this save and close. Now, since we have three buttons, so we can, we have three different cases over here. So here you need to create a variable in the selected button. Let's name it as selected button itself. Now, okay. So now we'll drag a switch case over here and I will show you why am I doing that since we have three different cases over here we have one submit we have one close so this needs to be changed to string and what we have over here is a selected button now add a new case in the case we are going to keep these three values submit so the first case is submit now the next case which is going to be reset on click of that will reset the form copy paste it over here and for close we don't want anything since we have kept it as true we'll just close the form now in submit we need to write the data to an excel file for that we need to access the data which we have created inside the form so for that you need to copy the field key of name and go to form fields collection create a name so this is going to be out since we are taking it from the out okay after that string and create a variable with the same name so this is the first now we have for email copy paste it over here out create a variable paste it over here email the third one which we have is the phone number copy paste it over here out okay so i need to create a variable over here out so that's it for the submit now we'll build a data table build data table drag in the submit case because on click of submit only we want that to happen so let's rename this this we are going to keep it as name okay we have column two which is going to be i think email this will be string okay i'm going to delete this now the third one which we want is going to be phone number okay so this is how we have built the data table create a variable for it details dt okay now we'll add a data row to it after that so add data row this we are going to pass the details dt and we are going to pass an array row which is going to have name comma email comma phone number so this is how we are passing the variables to our data table now we need to drag an append range over here let's give the file path so let's name it as let me see if i have some pre-created details okay i have so let me name this as registration details dot excel excel now here we need to pass this data table so 
we are done with the submit case which we want after that in reset we are going to use an activity multiple assign now in multiple assign we have three fields as we already know the one is name and we are going to pass it value empty other one is email so this is when we want to reset our form and after that this phone number where we are going to pass this now this we are doing outside the form to the form so what we need to do over here is we need to change this to enough since we are resetting the form not inside the form but outside the form using a button variable so i think that's it we are good to go so what we did we created a submit case where we are building the data table and writing it to an excel file we are resetting the form by passing the empty variables in it so what we can do is just include a space over here okay save i think we have done all the steps properly configured and we have all the data table built reset the form let's save and let's run this and see whether we are getting the desired output or not okay so we have the file running now now the registration form is open now let me tap par dosh okay so this is email id 244.gmail.com so as you can see drag the email id component directly from the form so it is automatically giving me the validation over here we don't have to manually validate it 344502 now let's click on submit and see what's happening okay so i think we have the form submitted with us okay so let's include a right line and after that let's see how this is working let me close this okay so as you can see we have the registration file with us but to better understand if we are getting the output or not let me drag a right line over here details submitted copy paste let's drag this over here piece of research after multiple lines we want to try to move over here now here yeah. research form successful so we get to know whether our file is working or not properly okay so let's run it again let me fill in the details again par let me just put some other email id and phone number so we get to see the output properly now click on submit details submitted so we have successfully written the data into the file now let's click on reset okay so on reset we are not this is not working so we'll let's see figure out why this problem is coming and on click of close the form is getting closed so this execution is proper now we need to just check why this particular things are not working the name and that variable okay so i have not changed anything this value this particular inverted like the colons were not there over there so let's try again whatever we have seen in this there are no changes made by in the code 
So let's run it again. And let's fill in the detail. So we have par email. Let me put my some other email ID. Bitgmail.com. We have number. Okay, let's click on submit. So we have the form submitted. Let's click on reset. So you can see the form was reset and we have again empty fields. So now let's fill another detail. Rakesh. Uh, let's give it as Rakesh at the rate gmail.com. Three. Let's submit it. Reset. We have empty fields again. So as you can see, we are getting the right line output over here. Close. So we were successfully able to submit the details upon on clicking on submit. We were able to reset the fields. Now let's see the Excel file which we have with us. So the Excel file is opening. Let's wait for you. Okay, so as you can see, we have both the details successfully over here. We can add headers as well in our Excel file but for now. Just for the purpose of tutorial, I don't have any headers, but we can keep as name, email ID, and contact number. So as you can see, we have successfully written the data into the Excel file. We were able to reset the form. Let me click on save. So let's just do a quick overview of what we saw in this tutorial or what we learned in this tutorial. So in this tutorial, we created a simple registration form, which had three fields, name, email ID, and the phone number. Then we used a switch case to deal with multiple buttons in UiPath forms. So on click of submit, we were successfully able to write the data into an Excel file. Excel file. On click of reset button, we were successfully able to reset our form again to empty fields. And the third button which we had was a close button on clicking on which the forms get closed. I hope this tutorial helped you learn a new concept in UiPath forms. Please do watch out my other videos on document understanding and UiPath forms. There is a complete playlist of UiPath forms. Thank you. Also, please do subscribe to my channel. If you like the content or if you want me to make more videos, you can surely comment in the comment section below on whichever topic you say. And please do press the bell icon to stay updated to the new videos I upload.